Good morning, Out of Town. I'm Mark. And I'm Joe. Today we're going to talk about fall sports. With the end of the cross country season approaching, we interview two seniors on the team, Liam Murphy and Jamie Crow. Both will be continuing their educations and cross country careers next year in college. Um, we're really just getting used to the cold. It's going to be like 30 degrees, so we've been training really hard, doing a lot of workouts, and mainly rhythm miles and just preparing for each hill that we're going to face at Homedale Park. I'm really excited about it. Like I've been working so hard all these years, and like finally it's like my dream to like run in college, and I actually have it all done, and I'm going there, so I'm really happy. I love TCNJ, so. Uh, yeah, our team really wanted to become county champs and like win the divisions. So we all have been like working really hard since the beginning of the season, and we hit both of those goals. Uh, training's pretty much the same. Um, the team's looking good, both the boys and girls. So hopefully uh, Saturday we both can qualify for media champs and uh, move on. Um, yeah, so I decided on Villanova. It's between uh, Villanova and Georgetown, but I figured it was just closer to home with my family. And uh, so I'm excited to sign today with all the other athletes and uh, officially sign. Uh, coming in, I definitely did not know I was going to be running, so um, this is all kind of shocked to me. So I'm definitely surprised and uh, happy with all the results I've accomplished so far. With the season coming to an end, football fell to wall in the state playoffs. It was a good lead up to the loss to Wall with a big win over Robbinsville. It was a great season for many seniors as we were able to talk to two about their last season with Allentown football. I feel our season went better than last year, but for younger people who are joining the program, I feel it could be improved on. It was a good foundation for, with Coach Locke and a good setup. Uh, I feel like the season went better than last year. We were 5-0 and at home, and uh, we put up a lot of points. Some of our high points had to be right after maybe the Heights Sound game. That's when we really started to come together as a team and really started to like focus up. Uh, my season, I think uh, I had a breakout season. I really didn't play last year and uh, had nine touchdowns this season. Some advice I have for the underclassmen. Really, just enjoy it. It goes by fast. Take it seriously. Fun's going to come with it. Uh, always practice hard and always play hard. The band is finishing up their season with a great end. They had a rough start to the season, but ended up getting second place in their division in the state championship, and they got fifth in the regional championship against 14 other bands. Let's take a look. How did you feel about your last season in band? You know, there were ups and downs, but um, it's good to finish off the season strong. How did you feel about your last band? Um, it was good. We got a new coach, um, and she really pushed us to our limits. And we improved a lot over the last four years, but this year was um, a big year for us. How was your first band season? It was pretty good. It was um, tough at first, but then in the end it was worth it. How was your final season of band? Uh, it was a good time. I had fun with friends and performing at our competitions and going to states and nationals was exciting. How did your band season go? Ah, I thought that the band season went phenomenally. Uh, we started off with actually a pretty rough start. Uh, we had one of our worst losses in a very long time with like a 10 point uh, divide between us and the first place band and I think that brought the spirits down uh, but through hard work, perseverance and just pushing against that wall the band was actually able to finish uh, second place at their state championship which was a huge accomplishment especially considering that the way the season started uh, I thought that everyone worked very hard I thought that no one gave up and I thought everyone uh, really did the best that they possibly could to make just an excellent product. I thought it was a great band, a great season, a great set of people, uh, and I'm very, very proud of what we accomplished. Our girls field hockey team had a very successful year. They played a lot of tough games, putting their whole heart into each game. They finished the season with a record of 14-4, topping last year's record of 10-8. Great job, girls. We interviewed the captains on how their season went. Uh, 
So as a whole, I think our season went a lot better than we were expecting. Uh, we had a really successful season, but unfortunately we didn't end with the result that we wanted. We improved a lot throughout the season, and I'm really proud of all of us. I think it was really good, and I think the intensities of the girls was pretty crazy. Um, I thought it was a really great season. We all played really hard, had a lot of fun. So. I think overall we had a really great season and performed better than anyone else thought we would, and I'm really proud of our team for that. Um, I think our Princeton and Notre Dame games were the most intense. We came out really wanting to you know, beat them and get that division win. So. When we played and beat Notre Dame. Our game against Stewart was crazy. We literally left blood, sweat, and tears on that field. Um, probably our Stewart game, even though we lost. Uh, we came out really hard and we've never played like that before. I'm really going to miss like having all like the late practices and like going out with the team. And I'm really going to miss all the girls. Probably that I won't have the constant friends that we've always had from field hockey and being able to go out to practice every day. Um, I think I'm going to miss the family like idea that we all had around being on the team. Like We all, all had a lot of fun together, and I just love playing the sport. So. I'm going to miss the tight sisterhood and like family bond that we built throughout the season. Um, I love those girls, and I'm going to miss like every single one of them. Thank you for joining us today here at A-Town Live. Have a good day.